Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. I want to talk about something. Um, I guess I want to talk about a lot of things, but I'm going to start with this. I see, I, I get a lot of messages about um, mixed media. And a lot of the things, this sparked something in me this morning when I went onto my YouTube and I had seen, I'm not going to mention names, but I had seen somebody, uh, somebody had sent me a picture of what they had done. I really dug it. I thought it was fantastic. And they had written back and said, and you probably know who you are when I say this, but um, that her daughter had thought it was uh, childlike, the, the painting, the mixed media painting. And it kind of me, prompted me to make this video because a lot of you write me that. A lot of you write and say how you feel uh, silly sometimes doing the mixed media, the backgrounds, the messiness, the no point to it type thing. Um, a couple people had written about the jelly plates and uh, they had bought it um, and didn't like it because of the, uh, the pad, not, not the patterns, but like when you use it, and you put, you know, you take your prints off of it, that it's the mixed media, it's a mixed media background, essentially. It's so much fun to do. Um, but that it didn't feel like art to you. A lot of you don't think it feels artistic. And I'm sure that this probably relates to a lot of things, different things in life. It could be, it doesn't even have to be art. But um, the point is, is that you're not going to find people, a lot of people aren't going to dig what you're doing. Let's put it that way. Um, mixed media to me is one of my loves because I, I'm not really a good pattern follower. I'm not a really good rule follower. I'm not a really good direction follower. Um, I can do it. And, and there are, you know, times that I do do it. Um, I'm not against it, but for me, the creating, um, because my brain is so busy. My mind is always going and about a thousand different things a minute. And for mixed media, that that's kind of what reminds me of mixed media is that you're just doing a lot. Um, and it helps me kind of focus and it helps me do that. Now I have never had anybody say to me, um, that my stuff, my mixed media backgrounds or the videos I've done or what I've ended up with had been childlike. Um, but if they did, I probably wouldn't care because it's what I love to do. And that's kind of where, uh, you know, where, where my heart and inspiration live. Um, I think it's very inspiring to sit down with a piece of paper, whether it's printer paper, canvas, you know, whatever, mixed media paper and just create. I've created, uh, many papers, uh, that I had sold prior of mixed media backgrounds. Um, and sold them and people love them. It's like buying a scrapbook paper where most scrapbook paper is, you know, one type, one color, one pattern type thing. I like to do the backgrounds and give them to people who are just starting out or who want to add the papers to their, uh, art. So don't let people, don't let people, um, make you feel bad. Uh, the response that when she was right, when the lady was writing to me about, her daughter thought it was childlike or childish or whatever word she used. And she said she doesn't understand mixed media. She doesn't do it. It made my heart smile because um, she got it. Do you know what I mean? The person, who, I really don't want to say your name because I don't want to embarrass you. Unless you let me know, it's okay. Because sometimes I, I get messages and um, a lot of, more than not, more often than not, people ask me when they're done writing it to not mention it on YouTube. And I get it. I get it. It's you know, for you to reach out to me on any level, mental health, chronic health, uh, art, uh, family matters. I mean, it goes all over the game, you know, all over the place where, what I get messages about. Um, and a lot of you don't want it discussed and you don't want your name discussed and you don't want your name, you know, it was a lot for you to reach out to me and tell me what your stories are. Uh, so I, I totally get it. And one of the reasons um, many of you probably have not gotten emails back from me, and I'm trying, I don't want to give you a standard email back. I really read everything you write. And um, I want to take that time mentally to sit and write you back because it's important that you're sharing with me that part of your life. Um, there are so many wonderful, I've said this before, we have a very wonderful community of the people that I uh relate, you know, not relate to, uh, what word do I want to say? 
I don't want to say people that I admire, people that I follow, people that I watch, people who put out the art videos, um, that I sit and, and you're part of my day. I get that. So many people write me and say, you know, I just sit and create with you. It's like having a friend. And I know how that feels because I feel the same way when I watch your videos, all of your videos. I'm watching Freedom Journal Friday by Claudia Rossi uh, now, her part one. Um, I've been a little slow watching videos lately. I have had a lot going on, but... Um, you know, those things, I put them on and I might not always sit glued to the screen. Well, I mean, I mostly do, but I mean, I'll do things around my art room. Like I need to straighten up. I need to get this package together. I need to do that. I need to do, you know, this and that. And I listen to you guys and I understand that it's like having a friend around. Um, we are a society here in a sense. Um, I always say when I hit the lottery, I'm going to make a big humongous, I'm going to have acres and acres and acres with little cabins and everybody we can just live on our own island so to say and just create and just be supportive and love each other um i know very cheesy but uh that's how i feel about you guys um when people write on comments and say oh my god this is the first comment i've left or this is the first comment i've ever written on youtube it makes me feel good uh that i that you've connected with me or i've connected with you in that way so please don't get discouraged I, I, I didn't know how to really respond to when people write me and say, you know, how people think that their art is child, childlike, childish, uh, not, not a traditional art thing. You know what? I don't, I love watching. I've said this before. I love watching people do watercolor. I love it. I have tons of watercolor. I've got, you know, a lot of nice watercolor here. Um, I, for whatever reason, cannot wrap my brain around watercoloring like realistic pictures and stuff like that. I love taking pictures. I love photography. I love it. And so I want to try to start using my watercolor and being inspired by people who are doing the watercolor. Gina Aarons does it. Um, she always like, will put up uh, pictures on Instagram and whatnot of um, flowers and whatnot that she's painted in watercolor and they're beautiful. And it's very inspiring. Um, I will probably never be as good as her at watercolor, but you know, that's a challenge for me to take on that I've not really uh, per pursued a lot. I love using watercolor in mixed media. I love using watercolor, you know, in different kind of things, alcohol, ink, look, and all that type of thing. But to uh, literally, and I love flowers. My daughter and I have been um, making our garden outside. We're doing it a different way. And yesterday uh, morning, we went and uh, got a few flowers and she planted these beautiful, I'm going to do a, a video of it when they're done. But we, you know, we sat outside yesterday and planted a little bit of flowers in our garden and, you know, trying to do our own organic uh, garden and whatnot. Um, and just make it look nice out there. But, uh, you, you know, so, so anyway, um, so I love flowers. I, I just love you know, that real realism in that painting. Like I said, I started out with oil painting and Bob Ross years, wicked years ago. Um, and loved it. Absolutely loved it. I even, um, have been cleaning up my art room somewhat, uh, cause I want to get my camp, my, um, easel out so I can start painting on bigger scales on the canvases. Cause I love that. I love doing it small too, but I love doing it, uh, doing it on uh, big, big, uh, easel. So please, no matter what art you do, no matter if you write, no matter if you draw, no matter if you a graphite sketch, pencil sketch, lead, whatever the heck it's called, uh, the, <clears throat> I can't do very well. Um, whether you do mixed media, whether you do watercolor, whether you do clay, whether you sew, whether you quilt, whether you make uh, art journals, whether you, uh, what else is there, knit, whether you crochet, you get what I'm saying? Um, don't let other people define what you, uh, there goes that word again, define, but don't let other people make you feel insecure about what you do. And, and that's it. That, that's why I love beginners. And I love people who are disabled like I am, who get why I do this. I do this for a myriad of reasons. I love it. I love teaching. I love showing things. I love showing that, you know what? I'm not dead. I'm just disabled. You see what I'm saying? Um, but I can still create to a point of me feeling peace and feeling happy and loving what I do and know that I did that. I did this so far. We're going to be doing more of this, but I did it. And I know that a lot of you feel that way. And I know a lot of you, you know, have 
taken that jump, taken that leap and uh, started. And it doesn't matter whether it's on printer paper or it's on expensive paper. It doesn't matter. No matter who you watch, no matter what you do, if you're inspired by them and let's say, you know, I, I have the uh, dilutions that I'm going to, the dilutions paint that I really want to work with. Um, you don't have to work with dilutions. I always tell you guys, Roy G. Bib Black and White, rock it. You can make all kinds of colors out of it. You have the basic because you can do so much with those colors and it doesn't matter, you know, when it's on sale. And that's why I love doing my giveaways too. Um, because you know, it, it just, like I said, it just helps people, whether you're getting two new paints, whether you're getting stencils, whether you're getting whatever, um, it, you know, it just helps you, uh, I don't know, it just makes you feel good. It gives you something else to play with. Sometimes, you know, I get uninspired. I feel like, Ugh, you know, and, um, you know, sometimes those things are, uh, so important, you know, when you buy, when, when, when I get, I, I'll tell you, like when I get the random acts of kindness, oh, it just makes my heart smile a mile because, and I'm not saying that I don't, nobody has to send me anything, but to see what other people's art or when people send me their art, I love getting people's art when they send that to me. Um, and like I, I got yesterday, Lonnie Lou sent me, um, a painting with the box and a lot of you have. And I want to put them up. I Like I said, I remember it, it's just so inspiring to see what other people have done and sent me. And I don't know. It just means a lot. So don't don't let people, you know, decide what kind of art you do because they might not get it or they might not like it. Um, one of my favorite painters is uh, Gustav uh, Klimt. And um, his, his art is just, I, I just love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And I had in my other room, oh God, my eyelashes are falling out. This medicine's killing me. Um, I, uh, I have had in my other room for anybody who remembers, but I'm going to bring it here and put it in front of me here. Um, the, uh, one painting, um, and it's like the oval, I mean the, uh, rectangular, tangular and everything. When I do my room video, I'll show you it, but it is just absolutely delicious. And it's so inspiring. And I just love him as well as many other artists. Um, but yeah, don't, don't let, uh, do whatever you want. You want to, you want to watch people. Uh, and like I said, you know, you want to take classes. So many of you take classes and, and you know, Hey, I I'm all for it. Anytime you can learn something new and something that makes you happy, go for it. There's nothing wrong with taking classes. Um, I think it's great, but not all of us can afford classes. Not all of us can do that. Um, but it's nice to see that if you do take classes and you show what you did, I mean, that's you learning as well. So, you know, and sharing it in a sense. And I, I just think it's great. I just think it's great. I love the no drama uh, support system we all have going on here. Um, whether it's in my group or another group or, or what have you. Uh, just so many. I love when I watch other videos and I see comments from same people who are commenting on mine or somebody else's. And I don't know, it's just this really nice community. And I hope we can continue it like this with no drama, no jealousy, just love and support and happiness for everybody. Um, but yeah, that's, that's all I wanted to say. I just wanted to say, you know, I be proud of who you are. Be proud of what you do. It doesn't matter if you're using coloring, uh, crayons and coloring. It doesn't matter. You're creating. It doesn't mean you're less than somebody who's using all golden stuff or all Liquitex stuff. It doesn't mean that you're any worse than they are. It just means that that's the way you're creating. So that's all I wanted to say. Um, Sometimes when I get a lot of questions of the same thing, I like to just do a response video in a sense because um, it makes it easier and then I can really say what I want to say. Writing sometimes to me, emailing makes me feel, um, especially with deep subjects, uh, I, I hope that I can at least, for those of you I've written back so far, that you can at least feel that I'm, like I do mean what I say, but it's hard when you're reading. It's like getting a text from somebody and it's, you're like, does that mean that they're pissed off? Does that mean that they like, you know what I mean? Like it's hard to do it. So I just wanted to kind of say it. And I think this applies to a lot of us really. Um, because as long as you create, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's yours. I have so much stuff that I created 10 years ago, 15 years ago that I have as I'm digging through everything, you know, and I look at it and I'm like, Oh wow, that's crazy. But, uh, you know, I, I would have changed this. Why didn't I do that? You know what I mean? But it's our journey and that's what you have to embrace and love.
so that's it. So I hope you all have a great weekend. I have a couple of videos that I'm going to put up and um, any questions as always, you all know, you can hit me up on my email, on Facebook, here, uh, I'm on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, the whole nine yards. Um, and uh, today I'm working on getting a lot of things packed up and everything so I can get things out of here uh, to send to who they need to go to and who I want them to go to and a little bit behind on that, but that's okay. I'm not mad at myself. I'm not hating on myself. <laughs> Uh, but I hate having stress over my head pressure when I know I want to get things out and it's like, Arr. but that's it. So let me know what you guys think about this down below. Let me, let me know if, uh, you ever feel that way where sometimes you're just like, you know what? I'm not digging this, you know? And that's why a lot of my paintings and I'm sure a lot of yours start out as one way and they end up completely different than you uh, planned them. But that's the fun of it. Isn't it? The journey. So that's it. That's all I got. But I love you guys, and I just want to thank you guys so much for being so loving and supportive, not only to me, but to each other. When I see it, my heart just gets so happy because I just love it. I just love it. I've not had, um, I've not had this easy of a time on YouTube, and I hope that sounds what I want it to in my head to convey. Um, there was a time when my life was very, and, and look, a, a lot of it had to do with me, but my life was very chaotic. The people around me were chaotic, the, and drama and stress, stressful. My situation, uh, at home, as far as health and whatnot was chaotic and, and, you know, uh, stuff like that. So to have such, to, for me not to be on here for a day or two and, and to get so many emails from people, like, are you okay? Are you okay? It, it makes me feel good because I should just start if I'm not going to do a video for a couple of days or whatever. And usually I always, if I don't do it one day, I'm like, Oh, I'm going to do it tomorrow. And then something else comes up, but I should just take my phone and do a real quick video and upload it. So y'all know I'm okay. But y'all write me, uh, like clockwork. I mean, it's just fantastic. You know, are you okay? Do you need anything? Can I do anything for you? You know, or whatever. Uh, and I, I just love it. It makes me feel so loved. So thanks. Thank you to all of you who, uh, check on me all the time. Uh, it's great, but I do go through my ups and downs. I'm not going to lie. And I'm sure you guys understand that y'all do that too. Um, life takes over sometimes and this isn't part of what it likes me to do, <laughs> but I fight and I get out of bed and I, I do my best here. Cause I just love, I love the community and I, uh, of the art community and I love, uh, creating and I love seeing you guys create. So, Blech. right. Oh, she's so sticky sweet. No, no, I'm not. But, uh, I love you guys. I love and I have so many plans coming up, so many great things coming up. And I have quite a few videos I have to do in response to people asking me um, to do, you know, videos on certain things. But uh, so I hope you'll enjoy them. As always, you all you got to do is drop me a line and let me know what you want to see. Um, we have such a wonderful, uh, excuse me, community art community on here that if I don't do something, you know, somebody else does it. Or do you know what I mean? Or whatever. And I, I that's why I love. I'm going to change the names on, uh, the side of my YouTube. Now I've had up, I've had up secret Soto. I've had up my husband. I've had up, uh, Claudia Rossi. I've had up Gina Aaron's. I don't know. Is that all I had maybe four? I don't know how many you can have up. So I'm going to change it to four new ones of people that I love and, uh, who have been supportive to me that I want to be supportive back and, um, for their YouTube channel. So keep an eye out for that. And that's it. And as always, be kind to each other because you never know what battles somebody else is fighting. Can't stress that enough. I can't say that enough. Uh, it, it's just, uh, it's true. And I wish that 100% of the time I can remember that in my head because I have my moments. <laughs> but such is life. But I love you guys. And I just want to thank you guys so much. And I'm done babbling. Bye, guys.